3015 there. Okay, 3015 there. Cool. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now, what do I want? Done. Calculate weather. Da, 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 da. Yep, we're good, good, good. So, 100. And what is that? Calculate. 260 minutes of elevation and 40 minutes of windage. Okay. It should be. Yep, good to go. Should be close. <clears throat> Right, level with the bottom edge. Well, that's a lot of wind. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Okay. Well, that's six targets right. I didn't get to see it. Yep. Let's hold right. There. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was nice as well. One target right, level the bottom edge. The target's on a bit of a lean, a bit drunk. I think it's sinking into the ground, that ground's so soft. Yeah, true. All ripped up. <laughs> See how consistent that wind is. Did not say. It is a little bit weird. Plates <sighs> clean. Oh, nice and in front. Six o'clock. Half target load. Low, quarter of a target, low, central, six o'clock. Oh, just over top, twelve o'clock. Just over top. Just off top right corner, just off. Oh, <clears throat> just in front, just low. <clears throat> just low. Put 
top left corner just G'day like guys, I'm out here going a step too far as normal. I've actually got this Ticker T3 um, shooting the 260 Remington. Um, and the, it's in actually one of this the Southern Cross small action arms chassis with some mods. I've got a, a video on the rifle, it's got our bipod system and a muzzle brake on it um, and a little bit of work down the back. But Ticker T3, factory form, just the trigger backed off and 260 Remington. I'm actually shooting the 144 grain bullet. It's our it's our first effort at trying to stretch out this the new Burger bullet. I normally use the 140s, but use that in this. It's a pretty new rig, um, but I really was out here doing a little bit of. I wanted to set up something to test and push the boundaries on using the Night Force wedge system up the front here. Um, for those that don't realise, that's a 100 MOA. It adds to your elevation, um, but. How far can I go in the way of max elevation and make it still all work where you're not dealing with trying to look for your barrel or, or things like that? Um, and what I'm actually running this at, with this whole combination, I'll go through it in a minute, but I was actually shooting it at around um, the 260 minutes of elevation. So what that is, the rest of the story, okay? Uh, we've actually been out twice. We shot 40 rounds out of this at 3,000 yards or just over 3,000 yards in this combination. Came out yesterday, wind was pretty erratic. Felt a bit like today, but I shot as low as 260 minutes of elevation and up to 280 minutes of elevation is how much it was actually varying. So I was chasing my tail the whole time. Still got pretty close, but chasing my tail. Um, we demonstrated what I wanted to demonstrate in the way of going through with the fact that I could use it in that setup, but I thought, listen, let's see if we can get on steel. So I stopped, we came back out today, at last 20 rounds in that box, went through it, super, super close, didn't get on, need a little bit of luck. Um, I didn't have to vary so much in the big stuff, in the big adjustments, but there still was enough wind movement. And to be truthful, at 3,000 yards with a standard 24 inch barrel and a ticker T3, I'm after a little bit of luck to get on there as well. So, shot really well, I'll show you that sort of stuff. Oh, just off of my... Oh, just like... Oh, let, just underneath. Tall, level the top edge. Nine o'clock, half target left. Oh, bottom left corner just off. Nine o'clock, quarter target left. Off. Um, I'll go through how I actually set up the scope and what I'm actually doing there. As said, it's got a night force wedge on the front, 100 minutes of elevation up there. This is one of my old attackers, great scope. Um, I get, the, the advertised 120 minutes of elevation. The way I set them up, I ended up with 130 minutes of elevation in this scope, well actually about 130, 136 is the total I get out of this one, so really good on that score. It's sitting on an air attack base, which gives me adjustments there as well. Now, when you adjust the scope right up and have all the rest of it, are you going to be able to see past the muzzle brake and that sort of stuff? Well, yes, I ran this one up to where I was running up to 280 minutes of elevation and short barrel in this, just a 24 inch barrel, but that still worked. So super big capabilities of being able to run the Night Force wedge in this sort of setup. So it worked pretty well. I should say for those people who are asking, the wedge is made to bolt to the guard I've actually set this up to where it actually is, I've made an adapter ring to bolt it to the front of the scope. Something that I will be bringing to market later on, still testing it, and that's what I'm up to. Um, I think that's about the details. The, the ticker, you know, they, they're a great little rifle, they shoot really well, it is completely factory. I've just backed the trigger, the trigger pressure back down to just about 1.2 pounds. Other than that, it's all shooting factory and stock. Um, everything's running really nice. Those 144 grain bullets are running just uh, the 27, 2730 feet per second. So, you know, nothing pushing too hard, shooting really well and super, super close. Um, didn't get on, we'd give it a good crack, but um, 
that close, that consistent, need a little bit more consistency. Like, and like I said, a little bit of luck on our side wouldn't have hurt.